Why does airplane food taste so bad? It's not just bad cooking, it's science. At 35,000 feet, your body changes. Cabin air is drier than the Sahara. Just 10 to 15 percent humidity. That dries out your nose and dulls your sense of smell. And when you can't smell, you can't taste. Studies show your ability to taste salty and sweetness drops by about 30 percent. No wonder your food feels bland even if it's well-seasoned on the ground. Then there's the way the food is made. It's cooked hours before takeoff, chilled, packed and then reheated in basic convection ovens. That kills texture. Crispy turns soggy, meaty turns rubbery, sauces split and vegetables wilt. And get this, sound affects taste too. The constant hum of engines messes with your brain. It reduces how sweet food tastes, but it boosts umami. That's why tomato juice and Bloody Marys taste surprisingly good in the air. Airlines know this and try to adjust recipes by adding more salt, spice or sugar. But it doesn't always work, especially when reheating ruins the balance. And with hundreds of meals to serve fast, there is little room for finesse. So no, it's not just the airline chef. It's the altitude, dry air, noise and your dull down taste buds. Next time your meal tastes like cardboard, remember, your mouth is flying too.